Hi, I'm Steven from Holy Cow Yoga in Charleston. We're going to be doing a little bit of a flow today, uh, emphasizing on twists and hip openers with this idea of space and expansion. So it's each pose that we're in, looking for the space in that pose. So we'll start by bringing the feet about hip width apart, toes pointing straight ahead, and maybe just kind of looking down, lining up the pinky toe with the long side of your mat. And letting the eyes close down as you lift up the head and draw the shoulders up and back. And then bringing your awareness down to the feet, picking up the toes, fanning them out, sort of like, like you were doing um, spirit fingers, but with your toes, and laying them back down, pressing down into the ball and heel of each foot. And as you press down into the feet, starting to feel sort of this almost rebound effect of where the legs start to activate a little bit, like you're engaging the quads, like you're pulling up that quad muscle, like you're drawing up long pair of socks. And the belly drawing in and up and the tailbone tipping down. And a big shrug of the shoulders up to the ears and rolling them back. You might have to do that a few times if this is kind of where you carry, you know, your stories. And then as the shoulders kind of settle in on the back, a little bit of a bobblehead moment for the neck and the head. Maybe a little opening and closing of the jaw, a little raising and lowering of the eyebrows. And bringing the hands together, pressing the palms together in front of the heart, letting a little line form from elbow to elbow. So there's some, some energy, some activity going on in the hands. Taking a deep breath, starting it low in the belly, pulling it all the way up to the collarbones. Pausing there for a second. And on the exhale, open the mouth, let it kind of fall out. Again, drawing a deep breath in. This time as we get to the top, maybe setting an intention of as we're twisting, maybe there's something you can twist out, you can let go of. Open the mouth and exhale. We'll do one more breath like that. Deep breath in. This time when you get to the top, pausing, maybe setting an intention for your practice, maybe just to be kinder or more patient with yourself. And open the mouth, exhale. With the next cycle of breath, in through the nose, maybe to a four or a five count, and a slight pause at the top, and then the exhale also through the nose at that same count. Letting this become the breath to sort of shape and support your practice today. And we'll interlace the hands, interlacing all but the pointer and the thumb, little Charlie's Angels hand mudra here. And on the inhale, reaching the arms up alongside the head. And as the arms reach up, trying to keep some space between ears and shoulders. And as we ground down into the feet on this next exhale, we're going to take a little side bend over to the left. Now, as we start to bend to the left, this right foot tends to want to lift up off your mat. Press down into it. Start to feel this development of space in this right shoulder, right rib, maybe even right hip area. Inhale to the center, stay there on the exhale. Reach up on that in breath, exhale taking it over to the other side. We'll try to call it the right after this. So left foot stays on the floor. Imagining that you can bring space between those bars of the ribs. Inhale back up to the center. Exhale, drawing the hands through the heart as you fold out over the legs, hinging from the hips, freeing up the hands along the way. Halfway up on that in-breath, finding length in the spine. On the exhale, as we fold over, planting the hands, stepping one foot back, then the other to our plank pose, so top of a push-up. So in this plank pose, your shoulders are kind of taking on the brunt of the pose. Go ahead and bring the knees to the floor. And then looking out past your mat, belly engaged here, Exhale all the way down, bending the elbows, letting them sort of shave the ribs as you come down. Once you're there, uncurl the toes, hands right up under the shoulders, planting those little hip points into your mat, but trying to lift the belly off the mat. Next exhale, head and shoulders coming off for a tiny baby Bhujangasana pose, a little baby cobra pose here. And maybe in this first little cobra, there's a little bit of movement in necks and shoulders. Maybe it's a bobble-headed cobra. Maybe it's a real sassy cobra. <laughs> and then curl the toes under, taking a breath in. On the exhale, his forehead comes down, pressing up to tabletop or plank pose, back to downward facing dog. Finding that breath in through the nose and out through the nose. On the next inhale, lifting up the heels, a little bend in the knees, looking at the top of your mat. Exhale, step or jump to the top. Halfway up on that in-breath. Exhale, fold. Prayer hands at the heart with a long spine. Inhale, sweeping all the way up. Keeping the arms overhead on that exhale. 
interlacing the fingers, flipping the palms up towards the sky this time. So strong arms, maybe there's a tiny bend in the elbows, maybe the arms are slightly forward, grounding into those feet, lifting up on that in-breath. On the exhale, that side bend to the left, plugging down into that right foot. Maybe the gaze goes to that right arm, maybe it stays straight ahead. Inhale to the center, exhale over to the right. Good. Inhale back to the center. On the exhale, freeing the hands as you fold out over those legs. Halfway up on that in-breath. Exhale, full plane in the hands, stepping, or if you're already ready to jump to plank, feel free. Looking out past your mat, big breath in. On the exhale, maybe you continue to come all the way down and stay with Cobra. Maybe you come halfway down for Chaturanga, turning that into Upward Facing Dog. Then on the exhale, taking it back to Downward Facing Dog. Adding in our first lunge here. On the inhale, right leg's gonna come up. And as this right leg takes flight, the right hand will want to as well. Commit that hand to your mat. Left hand, or sorry, left heel, heavy towards the floor. Big breath in. Exhale, right knee towards the nose. Round the back, scoop that belly in and up. Right foot forward between the hands. Now left hand is gonna stay on the floor directly under this left shoulder. You could be on fingertips, you could be on the fist, you could be on the palm, you could even grab a block if that's handy. Right hand, right thigh, taking a breath. Exhale, taking a twist towards this right leg. So as we go into this first twist, letting the hips and the pelvis move with you in the direction that you're, that you're twisting. Looking over this right shoulder, if it's clearly a right shoulder in your sight, maybe the right arm can come up into the sky. If you're not sure what it is, keep the hand on the thigh like Katie. Not that she can't identify shoulders, but taking another breath in. Exhale, hands are gonna to come to the floor. Let's step back to down dog. If you want to work easier, stay right here in dog. You want to work slightly harder, come forward into plank, hold out a breath or two, then go back to dog, or come down and go through your back bend, going the full vinyasa. Finding our way back to down dog, left leg coming up on this inhale, left hand on the mat, right heel dropping towards mat, exhale, knee towards the nose, round the back, drawing in that belly, left foot forward between the hands, so right hand under right shoulder, those same options available, left hand, left thigh, taking that twist towards the left. So right hip, right side of the pelvis all rotate towards his front leg. Maybe that left arm up towards the sky, maybe not so much. Good. Find that breath. If you can't breathe, you've gone too far. <laughs> Take another breath in. Exhale, hands to the floor. Stepping back to down dog. Taking a full inhale and a full exhale. Lifting up the heels, a little bend in those knees. Exhale, step or jump to the top. Halfway up on that in breath. Exhale, fold over. Prayer hands at the heart with a long spine. Inhale, sweeping all the way up. On the exhale, keeping the arms overhead. This time letting left hand take a hold of right wrist, maybe right forearm. Finding a little extra traction there. And then on the exhale, leaning over towards the left. So as this left hand draws this right arm, we're not trying to like disconnect anything in the shoulder back area. Like you're not like, you know, dragging like your kid throwing a tantrum out of the store here. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, switch up the grip. Right hand taking hold of the left arm. Next exhale, over to the right. Inhale, coming back up to the center. Hands together, exhale, fold out over the legs. Halfway up on that inhale. Exhale as you fold, planting those hands is your way back to plank pose, so step or jump. Looking out past that mat. On the exhale, coming down your way, so about halfway or all the way. Inhale into cobra or up dog. Exhale back to down dog. Right leg coming up on that in-breath. Exhale, knee towards the nose, rounding the back. Right foot forward between the hands, left knee staying lifted this time. Inhale, coming up into a high lunge. So here's where we start to get into a little bit of weeble wobble stuff here. And the things in the lunges that keep us from falling are it's from the ribs down. So engaging the belly, activating the core, a little bit of engaging in the glutes. So no, you know, clenched jaw, no angry eyebrows. Take the drama out of your face. Take another breath in. On the exhale, right hand is gonna to come to right hip, maybe the small of the back. Left hand is gonna to come to the right thigh. So a tiny bend in this back knee could be helpful here. Keeping the torso vertical. On the exhale, starting to take a twist towards the right. 
So again, letting left hip, left pelvis move with us in this twist. This is where we find that space, where we find that expansion. Press down into that right foot, especially that right big toe. Good. Take another breath in. On the exhale, both hands to the floor. Stepping back to downward facing dog. Again, you want to work easier, stay dog, catch the breath. Half vinyasa, plank to dog if you want to work slightly harder, or full vinyasa if you're just got a lot of stuff to burn out there. <laughs> Then left leg coming up on this next inhale. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Left foot forward between the hands. Right knee stays lifted. Inhale, up into that high lunge. So again, it's the belly, it's the legs, it's the glutes that stabilize you in this pose. So maybe a slight smile on the face would work here. <laughs> <laughs> left hand to left hip, maybe small at the back. Right hand to left leg. Keeping the torso vertical, maybe a little extra lunge in that front leg as you take this twist towards that left leg, drawing the right shoulder, that right front hip point, all towards that left inner thigh area there. Good. Taking another inhale. On the exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, down dog. Yogi's choice here of no vinyasa or the full vinyasa. Good. Lifting up the heels, so bend in the knees, exhale, step or jump to the top. Halfway up on that in breath. Exhale, full. Prayer hands at the heart, inhale, sweeping all the way up. On that exhale, left hand to that right wrist, right forearm. We're gonna do one last side bend here. Taking a full breath in. On the exhale, leaning to the left. Pressing down into that right foot. Now maybe this time, since it's our last little side bend, perhaps we let the hips kind of shift to the right, like half an inch or so. Use the belly on this next breath to bring the torso back to the center. On the exhale, switching up that grip. Grow tall on the inhale, taking it over to the right. Once you feel supported in both feet, maybe the hips slide to the left, like half an inch or so. Inhale back up to the center. Exhale, fold out over the legs. Halfway up on that in-breath. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, take it back your way. Looking up past your mat. Exhale, coming down your way. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Last standing twist we'll do here. Right leg up on that inhale. Knee towards the nose. Right foot forward between the hands. Again, left knee stays lifted. Inhale, up into that high lunge. So this one is a deeper expression of this standing, lunging, twisty mishigas. So feel free to go back to either one of those ones we have already done. Right palm to your right thigh. Reaching up through this left arm, thinking sort of like a little corkscrew here. On the exhale, starting to take a twist towards that right leg. And maybe this left elbow hooks to the outside of that right knee. And then when that happens, your hands just come together in prayer. Now you're not using these to move one of these appendages. So your elbow is locking into your knee. Like sort of think about like little Lego pieces there. Pressing strong through that back foot. Y'all breathing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Take another big breath in. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, down dog. Maybe that's where you stay. Maybe you do the half vinyasa. Maybe you do the full vinyasa. Finding your way back to down dog, left leg coming up on that inhale. Exhale, knee to the nose, left foot forward between the hands, right knee stays lifted. Up into that high lunge. So remember everything from ribs down is what you're activating here. Left palm to left thigh, reaching up through that right arm, beginning that little corkscrew action towards that left leg, right elbow to the outside of the knee, then hands find that little prayer shape. Maybe trying to get the thumbs more in line with sternum, less top shoulder. Breathing. Pressing down into the toes of that front foot. Letting them sort of fan out here. Taking another big breath in. On the exhale, hands to the floor. Taking it back to downward facing dog. Full inhale, full exhale. Last vinyasa opportunity here.
And then we're going to find our way into a pigeon pose. So a pigeon is a, is a position that doesn't sit well with your hip or with your knee. You're going to follow Katie's example here and come onto your back with your knees bent, feet on the floor, and just hang tight for a second. If you're coming in from down dog, right leg's gonna come up on the inhale. On the exhale, like Gene, you're gonna bring the right knee up behind the right wrist and lay that leg down. Now, when your left knee comes down, take a moment to kind of square the hips up towards that short edge and hang tight for a sec. Now, if you're on the back, right ankle's gonna to come to left thigh. You could stay in this shape if you already have all the feels. Or you can draw that left leg in, holding onto back of thigh or front of shin. If you're coming into the forward fold version of pigeon, you might put something under the right hip, like a block or a blanket, and then start to walk the hands forward, coming down to forearms, elbows. You could even kind of stack your arms like little uh, I Dream of Genie arms and rest your forehead there. And then once you're in that shape, big breath in, open the mouth, big breath out. And you might have to do that a couple of times here, big inhales, big exhales. And with these hip openers, kind of check in. Are you drawing the shoulders up towards the ears? Are you kind of holding the hips up? Like let them feel like they're dropping down. See how it feels in the face? Are you drawing the eyebrows together? Are you clenching the jaw? We're gonna take about three more breaths here. If you're coming out of the forward fold version of pigeon, start walking the hands back toward you. If you're on the back, just free up the legs enough to uncross the ankles and hug knees into chest. If you're coming out of the forward fold version of pigeon, flip the back toes under, let that knee hop up maybe a step or two, then press back to down dog. And then left leg up on the inhale. If you're on the back, it's gonna be left ankle to right thigh. Exhale, left knee up behind the wrist, lay that leg down. Right knee comes down, hip square, any props needed under the left hip. Walking out into that expression of pigeon for you here, maybe forearms, elbows, maybe forehead stacked onto arms. This side often can be our, our less cooperative side, our crankier side. So you might have to do some big hearty exhales here. Again, just kind of checking in to see if we're, if we're moving tension out of this left hip into any other part of the body. Are you making weird little foot fist or fist with the hands? About two more breaths here. So if you're in the forward fold version of the pigeon, making your way back to down dog. Katie's already where we're gonna be next stop so she can just uncross her ankle and hug her legs in. Finding your way back to the last down dog if you're in that forward fold version of pigeon. One or two breaths there. And then you're gonna make your way down onto your back. So if you have the practice of jumping legs through, feel free. Otherwise, knees to the floor, maybe come over to a hip, swing the legs around, and then just roll all the way back. We'll do a nice little supine twist here. So drawing that right knee into the chest, keeping the left leg out onto the floor. And maybe there's a little bit of space between this right thigh and the right chest. So maybe it's a little more knee over um, hip. On the exhale, right leg going over to the left. Right arm coming out to the side. Maybe it's in a straight line with your shoulder. Maybe it's angled up or down. Then inhale, coming back to the center. On that exhale, draw the left knee in to meet the right, and we'll send that right leg out onto the floor. On the next breath out, left leg going over to the right, left arm out to the side. It might do something different than that first side. And inhale, coming back to the center. On the exhale, sending that left leg out onto the floor. Bringing the arms down beside you. Letting the palms face up, letting the eyes close. <clears throat> Taking a deep breath in, filling up the belly, filling up the ribs, filling up the chest. Open the mouth, exhale. Again, deep breath in, belly, ribs, chest. 
Open the mouth, exhale. And if you're practicing along at home, feel free to hit pause, take you a longer shavasana. Otherwise, on behalf of everyone here today, thank you for practicing with us. Namaste.